The most interesting thing about King Charles I was that he was 5 foot 6 inches tall at the start of his reign, but only 4 foot 8 at the end of it, because of... Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of England, Puritan, born in 1599 and died in 1658. September was at first only an immediate Huntington, but then he led the Huntington's cavalry in Marston War in 1644 and won. Then he founded the new model army and praised be beat the Cavaliers at Nays beat, and the king fled on north like a bat to the Scots. <laughs> between the Presbyterian Parliament and the military who meant to have an independent end. And so, the Second Civil War broke out, and the roundhead ranks faced the Cavaliers at Preston Banks, and the King lost again, silly thing, stupid git. And Cromwell said, Colonel Pride to purge the House of Commons of the Presbyterian Royalists leaving behind only the rump parliament. Appointed <laughs> 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 the High Court at Westminster Hall to indict Charles the First for tyranny. <laughs> Charles was sentenced to death even though he refused to accept that the court had jurisdiction. Say goodbye to his head. Or King Charles laid his head on the block. January 1649. Came the axe. And? In the sound, the only sound we heard was a sword to you from. Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of England, away, born in 1599 and died in 1658 September. Then he smashed Ireland, set up the Commonwealth, and more. He crushed the Scots at Worcester and beat the Dutch at sea in 1653. And then he dissolved the Rome Parliament and Lambert's consent wrote the instrument of government under which Oliver was protector.